Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk about how to hold your breath for 3 minutes. Why for 3 minutes? Well, uh, everyone can hold the breath for 1 minute without any explanation. So, more likely if you've never done it before, if you just like inhale and hold your breath, you're gonna make it 1 minute. For 2 minutes, if you have like some explanation how to do it correctly and you're gonna do like two three attempts then more likely you're gonna do two minutes or like close to the two two minutes however the three minutes i would say it is a first challenge usually for the beginner free divers and again uh, it doesn't mean beginner free divers just like a, who practice for a couple of days like three minutes is usually a challenge for people who may be practicing uh, for a couple of weeks so if you are for whatever reason want to hold your breath for three minutes so this is a video for you but before we continue if you're first time here my name is Sergey. i'm a free diving instructor trainer and on this channel i help all of you to become a better free diver if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to these channels uh click the like button and let me know in comments what you want to see on my next videos and guys a little disclaimer make sure you're not practicing any breath hold exercise in the water without training partner and the training partner should be another free diver who understanding free diving understanding the safety procedure understanding the rescue procedure if you don't have such partner don't practice any breath hold exercise in the water do it only dry sitting in your bed uh, then this exercise can be practicing alone so no practicing in the water without proper training partner Okay, three minute breath hold. What is my recommendation where to start? So first of all, before you start practicing breath hold more or less uh, seriously, uh, make sure you understand free diving theory. Make sure you know what is happening during the breath hold. Make sure what is the relaxation breathing, what is the arch to breathe, what is a mammalian dive reflex, what is the danger of hyperventilation, etc, etc, etc. If all of these words which I uh, said in, a, in the last uh, 30 seconds doesn't make sense for you make sure you check the free diving theory where ideally on a free diving course but if you did it in the past and already forget some free diving theory or you couldn't do it at this moment then you can check the links uh, which is going to be here or it's going to be in the description i make um, i made a few videos about free diving theory in the past so check them out I explain everything in detail, uh, all free diving theory from the beginner courses. So once again, guys, uh, really, really important to understand free diving theory if you want to practice free diving, right? So really important. So the next part, before you learn how to breath hold, before you start practicing breath holding, make sure you, you know how to breathe. And it sounds uh, super simple, okay, everyone breathing constantly so why i need to learn uh, how to breathe but for free diving we have uh, like few techniques few breathing techniques which helping you to breathe in a more efficient more relaxed way so again i did the video about this in the past uh, you can find by clicking the link somewhere here or again the link is going to be in the description uh, so do this breathing exercise they're going to help you to improve your breath hold time so the next one is a finally breath hold and it is a no contraction table. I did a video about this as well. Uh, so this type of training, in my opinion, is the single best exercise which can help you to hold your breath. For beginner free divers, more likely this is the only one exercise which you need to practice. So this is a nice exercise. It's an actually enjoyable exercise. It's not hard exercise uh, and also it's gonna help you to improve your breath hold time dramatically so if you're going to practice for a few weeks you will see the massive difference without exhausting yourself with a like hardcore training exercises check out this video um, it's really helpful for the beginner levels and then as a last step on your journey to three minutes maybe you can supplement with another exercise it's going to be exercise almost the same as an all contraction table but then you also can at the end do experience some arch to breathe so for example you can do a uh, breath hold until your first contractions and then let's say 10 seconds on top of that time okay and now exact plan how you can train for three minutes 
So first of all, start with a breathing exercise. So for the next two, three, four weeks, try to find the time in the morning, maybe wake up slightly early. I, I know that no one likes to wake up too early, but it's gonna be like just 10 minutes. So try to find the time, maybe about 10 minutes, and practicing some breathing exercise uh, in the early morning. You wake up, you take your, you take your uh, glass of water, maybe going to the bathroom and then um, do this breathing exercise. Ideally, three section breathing is gonna be your choice, but there is a different other breathing exercise uh, which you can find on my channel as well. Okay, no contractions table. This is your main table. Since it is not really demanded training for your mind and for your body, you can practice it almost daily. I do recommend to take one or two days off uh, per week just to avoid monotony. So maybe five, six times per week you can do this type of training. So maybe five, like four or five uh, breath holds with a nice relaxation in, uh, in between until your first arch to breathe. So for example, you do a breathing exercise for 10 minutes and then let's say you do a first breath hold until you arch to breathe. You do relaxation breathing in between, then you do a second breath hold, third one, number four, number five. Maybe number five. Oh, maybe four is enough for the first week. On the second week, you may be gonna increase it by one and start doing like five uh, breath hold exercise. Or maybe like six on the next week. So between five and six on uh, week two and three. So keep practicing this table only until you reach no contractions time at least two minutes. I don't recommend to start working on any CO2 tolerance, like specific exercises, uh, until you mastering your relaxation time, until you mastering your no contractions time. So keep practicing for a few weeks and it's gonna be almost guaranteed that your no arch to breathe time, your no contractions time is gonna be at least for a couple of minutes, okay? So when you're gonna reach this two minutes threshold, so let's say maybe attempt number three or four, you do your relaxation breathing and then you hold your breath and then you can hold your breath up to two minutes without experience any arch to breathe. Okay, then from the next week, you also can start experiment with the arch to breathe. So the next time uh, you do your no contractions table, but you're not stopping when you have your first arch to breathe, but you stop like arch to breathe plus 10 seconds. And what you're gonna do during these 10 seconds? During these 10 seconds, don't just like, ah, oh, five, four, six, two, one. Okay, start breathing. No, don't be tense during these 10 seconds. Like you have your arch to breathe, you have your first contractions, contraction and then try to consciously relax try to relax your shoulder try to relax your facial muscles try to relax your neck your arms everything try to be relaxed keep in your mind that it's going to be only 10 seconds right so you have a some uncomfortable sensation but keep in your mind that it's going to be only for the 10 seconds and you can do it for a couple of training sessions with a 10 seconds uh, arch to breathe when it's going to be more or less to hold your breath with the contractions, let's say for 10 seconds, then you can try to do 15 seconds and then you can try to do for 20 seconds and for 30 seconds. So again, your goal is not to just like muscle up and just like uh, hold it. Uh, your goal is to be completely relaxed during the breath hold, especially during your contractions phase. Okay guys, this is it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. If you like it, again, don't forget to click the like button. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you next time.